Hi guys, it's Mark Zickery of Space Command, also known as Mr. Sci-Fi. And uh, it's been a little time since we've checked in about what's going on with Space Command. And so I wanted to give you all a, um, an update from, uh, from lovely Idlewild, California, where I'm spending the Labor Day weekend with Elaine and Squirrel the Dog. So, here's what's going on. Uh, in our last thrilling chapter, uh, you knew that I, was, that I went to London. I initially went to MIP and in France and met with Frank Spotnitz, who runs Man on the High Castle and several other series. And he was advising me about how to uh, pitch and sell Space Command. And uh, so on his uh, recommendation, I flew to London, had a lot of meetings with the networks and production companies, which went very well. They all requested material. They all were very excited about what I was doing. And, uh, and then I went back a few weeks later for follow-up meetings with Elaine, and uh, where we were meeting again with all the networks, all the major production companies. And uh, so now we're under consideration. And uh, so, in the meantime, I then flew back from London, and the next day jumped into Comic Con, where we had a panel for Space Command. You can go onto my Mr. Sci-Fi channel on YouTube, and you can watch the entire panel, including the trailer for Space Command and the five minutes, the opening five minutes of the two-hour pilot that we've shot, which we premiered. We premiered the opening five minutes at at uh, Comic Con. And uh, then from there, I went to the Star Trek convention, and I was meeting with a number of actors, um, some of whom I'm, I've worked with, like Robert Picardo in Space Command, and others that I want to work with, like Bren Spiner. And he and I uh, were talking about getting together, and I'm thinking of writing a role for him in, uh, in Space Command. So <laughs> we'll see how that all goes. But uh, he's a wonderful actor. He looks great. Uh, and I think they really wasted him in the recent uh, Independence Day movie. He was one of the best things in it, along with Jeff Goldblum and... Uh, and, uh, you know, the, the older actors were all great, and the younger actors were like, who are those people? Why are they filling the screen when we'd rather be watching Brent Spiner and Jeff Goldblum and uh, Judd Hirsch? So <laughs> if they had just made it about those three people, it would have been a great movie. Anyway, I digress. So um, so in terms of Space Command, I then went to the uh, Star Trek convention, then to uh, the World Science Fiction Convention in Kansas City, where I was meeting with a lot of uh, very famous science fiction writers and editors and publishers. The Hugo Awards were given out. Uh, George R. R. Martin uh, invited me to... Uh, the Hugo Losers Party, which was great, uh, really fun, and uh, and many many of these science fiction writers, of course, are big fans of Space Command. Um, Neil Gaiman, of course, has been uh, really lovely. I, I sent him the opening five minutes, and he emailed me back one word: glorious, which is <laughs> great. And um, when I was talking to Robert J. Sawyer, who won the Hugo for best novel a few years back, and uh, and just a number of, of wonderful writers, just people whose who's work, with Joe Haldeman, who was one of my teachers at, uh, at Clarion when I was a teenager, and, uh, and who I named a general in Space Command after. Bruce Boxleitner played General Joe Haldeman. And uh, so it's fun. All of the, all of the uh, characters on, the, on the, uh, the, 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 pa the Space Command ships are named after famous science fiction writers, whether it's Murray Leinster or Jorge Luis Borges, who's a fantasy writer, of course, or, um, or Ted Sturgeon, or my, my dear friend Ray Bradbury, etc. You know, it's it's very fun. So so now what we're doing is I've locked down representation at CAA, and I'm talking. I'm in communication with the TV division. We've been pursuing things in the movie division. Also, a new book I've written, uh, the memoir about my mom. There, they loved. The, they gave it great coverage. And so now it's moving forward on those fronts. But Space Command is the main is the big enchilada. And uh, so now we're starting to, to set meetings with the networks here, and starting to talk to. Uh, I have a friend who's a critic with ABC Radio, and he went to the uh, uh, Television Critics Association recently, which is two weeks where they interview all of the major shows, the stars, the showrunners. Um, they, they basically drink for two weeks and, and do interviews. And, um, and so I, sat, I took him to lunch, and I said, okay, tell me about everything, who's doing what, where everything stands, who, where you think Space Command would be a good fit. I also talked to Frank Spotnitz about that. And, uh, and, you know, I'm getting advice from a lot of my friends who are running shows, uh, Glenn Mazzara, etc. And, uh, and, and we'll start to have the meetings and start to look at where we want to go to, um, to find a home for Space Command. Now that we've shot the first two hours, we've shot 30 minutes of the second two hours. I also met with um, a wonderful uh, woman who had been a, a v v VFX supervisor on Looper. Again, I'm getting advice from a lot of people in terms of production, visual effects, selling Space Command, everything that we need to do. And, and I was also meeting with editors, book editors, about, and talking about Space Command, um, you know, editors from Titan Books and so forth, uh, Random House, Penguin, Penguin and, um, 
Tor, Bane books, etc., you know, to basically see where we, and because Maya Bonhoeff has written the first Space Command novel, I'm giving her notes on it, we're talking about that, and talking about where the novels can go, and, and the, the radio plays, and the, the graphic novels, all the things that we plan for Space Command. So, so, so moving forward, here's where we are now, um, just setting meetings, continuing to complete the visual effects on the first two hours. We're going to have a crowdfunding campaign in October, I think, to continue completing the visual effects because I don't want to be reliant on the networks to finish the first two hours and send it to our, our, our wonderful Kickstarter back, backers. I also talked with someone from Kickstarter, one of the executives at the World Science Fiction Convention, and we'll be following up with her as well because they're very much looking to form um, alliances with creatives, with, with writers and so forth, and directors to, to help get projects made. And um, so so there's a lot of that on the horizon. So keep an eye out. I'll start putting out word about the new crowdfunding campaign to complete uh, visual effects and post on the first two hours. Because I'm not counting on... If, if Space Command sells sooner rather than later, great. But if it takes a longer to sell, I want it to have the right home rather than the, the one that comes quickly. Obviously, if it's the wrong network wanting to buy it. You know, distributors have been coming to us for several years now on Space Command, uh, independent film distributors and sales agents wanting to acquire Space Command. And we've, we've put them at bay because that isn't the right home. Home, that it, it would uh, to have it be in red box and disappear or have it you know appear and be gone within a week that's not the dream uh, for space command that any of us want and so so I'm really being careful with this which and again we're continuing to sell shares in space command if anyone's interested in that you can email me at mark Zick, uh, mark at Zick, uh, mark Zickry at gmail dot com or call me at three two three three six three one two five nine three two three three six three one two five nine I'll be happy to talk with you and uh, and we are continuing to sell shares until the show sells at which point it will stop and so those people I think will be very gr glad to have gotten in under the wire and the shares are seventy five hundred dollars a piece many people are buying multiple shares but I priced it deliberately at a low number so that regular people could afford it because I don't want it to be uh, billionaires and, and corporation heads I want it to be regular folks you know fans just like all of us who want to see this wonderful dream come to fruition. So, so that's about it for now. I just wanted to let you know all of the activity going on on this end. It's really exciting. It's all thanks to you. Uh, I can't tell you how much it means for for you to send me encouragement or uh, cash <laughs> or all of the things that help us. Uh, you know, anytime anyone helps uh, build a set, make a prop, uh, design a robot, uh, make a spacesuit. We very much would love love some cool, very cool spacesuits. Um, you know, every little bit helps. This is all of us making this dream a reality. It's it's so much fun. It's as, it's as though back in 1964 when Roddenberry started shooting Star Trek, if he'd, if he'd reached out to the fan community and said, hey, let's all of us make a show. That's really what Space Command is. And uh, it takes the world and it takes the universe and it takes a village and we're all part of this wonderful fan community. Uh, the, the Science fiction is one of the few genres where the fans become the professionals, but they're still fans. And it's, it's, it was very interesting being at the World Science Fiction Convention where the fans and the writers are all hanging out together, all talking to each other. It's not like Hollywood where there's the red rope and either you're on one side of it or the other, which, I, by the way, I've always objected to and do not subscribe to or live by in my, in my life. Uh, but I much prefer the way science fiction works, the inclusivity of it, the, the fact that we're all making our dreams come true. So that's it for now. I'm Mark Zickery of Space Command, Mr. Sci-Fi. Uh, reach out as you need to, as you want to, as you like to. Every little bit helps. And we'll talk again real soon. Bye-bye.